practice for the next tournament. Okay, Eric comes in with an answer, 283.5 grams. That is not correct. That is not correct. So, Airwick coming in with the first answer, but he's got something in this model that's off somewhere. And now he has to go through the challenge of figuring out. Let us know who you think is going to take this down. Who's going to be the champion? First person to win two points will be the champion, but who is it going to be? We're going to find out. Here we go. Guys, this championship CAD battle between Imats and Airwick, United States versus Canada, on shape versus on shape, begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? This is a tier five part, believe it or not. It's right on the brink of tier five and tier six. This is my favorite part ever, I think. that My favorite part from any tournament, from any competition. My favorite part. I'm glad that it gets to make an appearance in this tournament. It's got so many cool little, you know, nuanced features in it that I think really make it uh, more challenging than you might expect. Both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture. Both of our runners are starting. Imants on the left, running on shape. Airwick on the right, running on shape. Let's see how they approach this challenge. I always think this part reminds me of the um, the bounty hunter uh, Boba Fett, his his ship in Empire Strikes Back. I think it's so cool. So we see a Mons on the left, kind of kicking his extra extrusion there out to the left. We see Airwick on the right, once again, using a layout approach. Very, very, uh, very, very solid technique, a, a proven technique. He's been using this technique all throughout the tournament. It's gotten him all the way to the finals. Stu 3D says, easier part than earlier. Yep, lower tier part. This is tier five. Most of the parts we've seen so far are tier six. Little bit easier, but it's there's still some trickiness to it, particularly that rib running down the front of the part and then blending into that face and having it all be coplanar. It's a little tricky. We see Airwick going through and laying everything out. We see Amant already has two solid features in the tree. Doing a little bit of uh, arithmetic there in the on shape extrude dialog box. I like that. He did like 32 minus 12 to calculate the, the offset for the base. That was very clever. I do that very frequently. In fact, now on shape shows the expressions in your dimension, so it's kind of like it's tattling on me. Every time somebody sees my my models, they can tell. You can put shortcuts in on shape. Yeah, yep. S key, S key is in on shape, and you can do arithmetic in on shape as well. And you can do hockey mapping in on shape as well. Yep. So we see Imants on the left trying to come up with the strategy for that kind of rib section. Looks like he drew a line there. Use that line to, or triangle, use the, the line from the triangle to cut. And now he's going to use the line from the triangle to do a rib. That's clutch. That was a great, great sequence of commands there to address a, a pretty tricky area of the model. We see um, Airwick on the right, once again, showing his prowess with layout and shared sketches, multiple features from the, the same sketch. You know, he did a lot of sketch work while Imants was coming up with features. Now you can see he's just boom, 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 turning all those sketches into features. If you're just tuning in, I do have just a little bit of a head cold. So if my voice sounds a little, little stuffy, a little um, like I'm getting vocal fry, uh, I do apologize, but the show must go on. I like this song. This is like the calm before the storm kind of.
Yeah, ex machina, queen. I gotta say, I am super, super impressed with uh, Erwick's ability to go from seemingly very far behind to all of a sudden just having a model that's <laughs> like complete. It's it's amazing. I mean, it's a testament to on shape, but uh, also just a testament to his ability to uh, kind of decipher a model and and figure out what the best way is to to approach that model and break it down, discretize it, uh, and turn it into a completely fully defined, uh, dimensionally accurate machinable part. Really, really impressive. He just does it over and over again. Every yeah, every match. It's scary, yeah. It really is scary. It's like you're watching him and you're just thinking, oh, he's behind. He's not going to get it. It's fine. Move on. And then all of a sudden, he's just done. So cool. We'll see if it pays off here. Crispy Co. in the chat says, got it. Got it already. Nicely done. Getting a little practice for the next tournament. Okay, Airwick comes in with an answer. 283.5 grams. That is not correct. That is not correct. So, Airwick coming in with the first answer, but he's got something in this model that's off somewhere. And now he has to go through the challenge of figuring out what that something is. Meanwhile, Imans on the left doing a delete face, cleaning up the model, possibly opening the door for Imans here. Jern in the chat saying he might see what's going on. I like it. I gotta tell you, you guys are the best chat ever, you know that. You totally get it. We, we all kind of have learned how to walk that line between, you know, letting people know that we know, but not actually spoiling. And I think that's just awesome. So, guys are awesome. This is for all of you. All of you in the chat. This is for all of you. Much love. Victor K says, I forgot two features. Got it now. Okay, good. Mila says, having a nice boss battle song from Doom Games would be a nice touch. Yeah, that would be sweet. See if I can maybe find something similar in my, my library of songs that won't get me copyright striked. <laughs> Okay, and Imants has come into the chat with an answer, 281 grams, and that is correct. Wow. So Imants taking down first blood in this finals. Airwick was so close, 283.5. The tolerance is plus or minus one gram. He came in with that answer earlier, 283.5. So very close. The tolerance is plus or minus one gram. 281 is the answer I came up with. Very nicely done to Imants. Wow, wow, wow. Good game. Good game to the winner. Mac Cameron in the chat. What's up, Mac? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you in here. Amir in the chat. What's up? What's up? Hey, oh. I sent Mac a picture the other day. He got to hang out with us at, at the, uh, when we did the last tournament, when we did the world championship, we had a, an after party, in-person after party. Mac and I got to jam a little bit. And I